Alrighty, so we have a really interesting, juicy video to make today for you guys. Um, I just want to remind everyone at the beginning of the video that everything that is said in this specific video especially is rumors and speculation, and nothing is certain, and uh, nothing is factual until announced by Cedar Point or by any park in terms of any videos that we make. Um, so until you hear an announcement from the park, nothing's official. This is all hearsay, speculation, rumors, and um, yeah. So <laughs> let's just jump right into it. So as many of you know, uh, Cedar Point about almost, um, maybe like, I don't remember when. Okay, maybe like two, three weeks ago. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. Um, Cedar Point made an announcement that they're going to make an announcement <laughs> on December 11th. A lot of people didn't put too much thought into it. You had a very small group of people who were like, oh my god, coaster. And then you had the majority of people being like, oh, like probably just past perks and stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, going back to their history and roots in terms of like banners, signage and all that. Tony Clark even tweeted something about just a reminder, enthusiast, blah, blah, blah. This is just something. Don't expect something big, blah, blah, blah. PR this, PR that. Um, but nonetheless, um, here at Amusement Insiders, again, this is hearsay, um, <laughs> supposed information. We came across a number that Cedar Point is going to see about $70 million funneled into attractions and upgrades, excluding out-of-park upgrades. So keep this number, just uh, keep that in mind. So $70 million over the next five years is being invested into Cedar Point. That does not include um, outside of park infrastructure like parking lot, resorts, blah, 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 if that makes sense to you. So we've had that in the back of our mind. Um, and uh, for any of you who have been paying attention to Canada's Wonderland, um, in the past, Canada's Wonderland has had attractions stolen, um, per se, if you want to use the word stolen, um, or delayed for Cedar Point. So for those of you that don't know, Val Raven was a last minute addition to accompany the hotel renovations. They were showing soft bookings and um, pre-bookings, and they were showing soft sales. So Cedar Fair made the decision to build Val Raven at Cedar Point to draw attendance and delayed Yukon Striker. This is confirmed. This has been greatly confirmed by both parks um, that Yukon Striker was meant for earlier edition, and it was delayed to make room for Val Raven over at Cedar Point. We're now seeing things being delayed at Canada's Wonderland yet again. So for those of you that didn't... Um, here, uh, the hotel at Canada's Wonderland has a 2021 approximate opening date um, for Q2. Um, and uh, this might also push back attractions at Canada's Wonderland because usually when you have a, a hotel opening, you want a coaster opening in the same year. Um, so it looks like things maybe have been pushed back or pushed forward or moved around. So this could be good news or bad news for Canada's Wonderland. We don't have that information yet. So for anyone that's a Canada's Wonderland fan, stay calm. I don't have any information about Canada's Wonderland in terms of a coaster year yet. I do have a pretty good understanding of the next five years at Canada's Wonderland, and that's through conversations that we've had with park officials um, and stuff like that. And I'm just kind of dropping little apples here and there for us to kind of digest anyways nonetheless let's get back on topic cedar point so with that in mind canada's wonderland has been one of those parks that usually if you see a delay or something push back it's to benefit a park like cedar point and cedar point only that's all we've shown so far um and there are rumblings so we're hearing rumblings in the coaster community that make the information that we have at amusement insiders make sense so all that that i just said um, I wanted to put, say first before I say what I'm about to say. Um, sorry, this is really late. I've had a really rough day, but I wanted to get this video out because I was like, oh my God, the information that I have makes sense now. So we're hearing rumblings, and I'm sure a lot of you have been thinking this, that Winterfest could be coming to Cedar Point um, in the next year or two, and that might be part of the announcement on December 11th. For those of you being like, no, there's no way, they've already said in stockholders' calls, that it wouldn't really make sense at Cedar Point, blah, 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 or you've heard like park officials say that. I'm here to tell you that Canada's Wonderland had one of the most successful openings of an event I've ever seen. Winterfest was so crowded, if any of you were paying attention to us on Instagram, Amusement Insiders, Pearl on Instagram, if you aren't already, go follow us. Um, it is It was successful, and if Wonderland can be successful and busy, I'm sure Cedar Point can, because... 
Boy, does Cedar Point slaughter Canada's Wonderland in terms of Halloween haunt attendance. For any of you that paid attention, that park was swarmed by Gold Pass holders um, trying to get into Halloween haunt for the last like month of operation at Cedar Point. That tells a business you can open up in November and December. These people will come to those months uh, as well. And as Cedar Fair has said, there are already 200,000, 300,000 season pass sales units ahead of last year's sales current year to date. That's significant. That's a large number. And to get more specific, I'm hearing that that number is about 120,000 gold pass sales at Cedar Point alone for 2020. 120,000 gold pass sales alone for 2020. That's a number that is alleged. Okay, I'm using the word alleged for a very specific reason to save myself. Um, but nonetheless, um, that's a large number. And boy, uh, do they need investments and they need investments badly. So as many of you know, Cedar Point has also purchased a resort close to Cedar Point. Um, and that's a very big purchase for, I don't know the exact, I think it's Saw Creek Mill or something like that. Again, comment down below. Cedar Point has purchased it. It's a very massive golf resort and they're renovating it to reopen. So Cedar Point is expecting large attendance numbers throughout 2020. Again, that's going to continue into 2021. It is a great deal, the Gold Pass, and people are going to buy it. And if Cedar Point throws Winterfest on top of that, you're going to get even more people buying the 2020 or in 2021 season pass, gold pass for Cedar Point, and attendance is just going to keep skyrocketing. And this is exactly what Cedar Point and Cedar Fair want for Cedar Point. So what does that mean? It means more investments. This is something that we've already known. The $70 million number that Amusement Insiders has been sitting on makes so much more sense now. That's like two Orions in a five-year period, just to put that into perspective, with $10 million to spare. So um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a large number. So what could they possibly be doing? Well, wouldn't it be crazy? Let's just say, okay, I'm not saying that we believe this or we think this, but let's just say December 11th is a lot more important than you think. For those of you that don't know, December 11th is 150 days until opening date. There was a very specific reason they chose December 11th to make the announcement. It wasn't last minute. It wasn't blah, blah, blah. It's a very specific date. It's 150 days until the opening of Cedar Point's first day of operation. And uh, let's just say a family, like, wouldn't it be crazy if Cedar Point added a family coaster or a kid coaster in 2020 and then a big coaster in 2021? I think it would be a little bit crazy to see that. Um, I'm not going to put that, I'm not going to say that's happening, obviously, because it's really late. This isn't like Cedar Fair to make an announcement like this. Um, they usually like to make their coaster announcements when they start selling season passes. So I can't really see it being in a massive coaster. I mean, a lot of people are hoping for that massive GCI model. Um, but from what I'm hearing from IAPA, that's been sold to a Chinese park or a park um, somewhere in Asia. So I can't see Cedar Fair getting that dueling massive GCI coaster, but I definitely see a GCI or a flyer in the future for Cedar Fair. But does that mean it's coming next year? No, not at all. If we're get if Cedar Fair were to invest in a coaster at Cedar Point for 2020, and let's say if it wasn't last minute or if it is last minute, I really honestly think that they would go down the kid family route. So I'm just saying, wouldn't it be crazy if they were to make like a little family kid announcement um, for the 2020 season on December 11th with Winterfest packed into that? Um, it sounds really crazy, but the numbers are adding up um, and it makes a lot of sense with the information that we've been kind of sitting on at Amusement Insiders with these new rumblings that we're hearing um, coming and going through the coaster community. I would love, I'm, I'm really excited for the December 11th at Cedar Point. I want to hear from you guys now. I don't want to make this video too long because I, I have a tendency to ramble on and on with my thoughts in these videos because I don't like to write a script for myself, for those of you that know. Um, so I tend to ramble. I'm going to stop myself. I've said everything I need to say. So I want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. What do you think the announcement means for Cedar, or Cedar Point on December 11th? Um, what are you expecting and what would you like to see? Because... Things are getting interesting with the information that's going and circulating around. Is it going to be a coaster? Is there more to the announcement? Is it not going to be a coaster? Wouldn't it be crazy if it was a family coaster? Who knows? But I'm definitely going to sit down and take a bet that Winterfest is coming to Cedar Point in either 2020 or 2021 based off of the success of Halloween Haunt and the Gold Passes. It just makes sense. It's going to happen. For those of you that are Cedar Point fanboys or that's your home park, congratulations. I'm promising you... For the most part, 
hopefully that Winterfest is coming to your park in either 2020 or 2021. Let's hope it's 2020 because honestly, it's one of my favorite events now. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this speculation video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.